Hi, it's the broker of that gratitude guy. Schizophrenic. When the alarm went off this morning, there was some doctor talking about uh, schizophrenia, and he, was, and he mentioned he had a brother that had some issues with schizophrenia and how that had affected his entire life, and he was delusional and heard voices and all these different things. It made me think about my brother. I have a brother that uh, is younger than me that has been schizophrenic his entire life. And it really hit me as I was listening to this interview this morning and talking about how these people suffer with this mental illness, how grateful I am not to have a mental illness. And that it made me realize back to something I thought of years ago, one of the most important, if the most important, if not rather, the most important thing that happens to any of us is the family that we're born into and the condition that we're born into. We have no control over it. All of a sudden one day we're born and here we are. And I was thinking about my little brother, how he struggled, <coughs> excuse me, for all these years and how fortunate I was to have a brain that was wired properly. So think about that when you're thinking about things to be grateful for. It's one of the things I like to talk about every single day is think of just the absolute infinite number of things that you can be grateful for. I may have mentioned in the past that sometimes at the talk somebody says, well, I see you do a video every single day on uh, gratitude. How do you think of something new? <laughs> I always start laughing. Is it a finite list? There are only so many things to be grateful for. The Brooker, that gratitude guy, he ran out of things to be grateful for, so the videos have stopped. So when you think about schizophrenia, manic depressive, any of those types of issues that can hit people, be grateful for your mental state and be grateful for the health care that's out there for people that do struggle with that, whether that's you or somebody in your family, that there is help out there. So that's it for today. Be grateful for your mental state. Be grateful your physical, for your physical state. And just be grateful in general. And be right in that gratitude journal. That's it for today. We'll see you tomorrow. Have a grateful day.